Welcome to the project demonstration of night patrolling robots by using Raspberry Pi. So the main application of this project uh, it will use to provide the security system for the women. And here uh, these we are using the totally four sound sensors. So the four sides, four sound sensors we are using. And whenever the sound detected at particular site, then the system will move to the direction and then it will capture the video and uh, mail the video link to the registered email ID. And uh, video capturing and mailing purpose, we are making use of this Raspberry Pi model. And the sound detection purpose, we are making use of four sound sensors and the four direction of this robot. And to control the robot movement, whenever the uh, uh, sound detected, the system will using of this uh, L298 motor driver to control the direction of these four DC motors, which are attached to the movement of this uh, robotic movement. Right. So here uh, the mainly system required uh, GPS signal as uh, the video uh, mail consists of along the video link, uh, video uh, file and the uh, location of this particular robot means where the so called uh, emergency got occurred. So that is the link will be attached to the mail along with the video. And here the whole system getting power supply from this uh, 12 volt uh, 2 amp battery pack and uh, which is rechargeable battery. So before demonstration first of all we need to keep the battery under full charge. So connect the bat, uh, charging at this slot, pin, charging pin and uh, keep it beside and now on the power supply to this transformer. So now the charging light will be indicated, the battery is charging. So it will take around 5 to 6 hours to be fully charged, till the duration we should keep the battery under full charge. So after that automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow to protect the battery from overcharging. So then uh, we can switch off the power supply to this right and the next here we have the one more thing is like a buzzer so which will provide us the audible alerts uh, when the abnormality got detected and coming to the components so you can see as we discussed so four sound sensors would read the sound L298 motor driver to control this uh, vehicle movement and this one is the LM2596 voltage regulator uh, which will take 12 volts of DC power supply and provide us the 5 volts DC outputs so that is the operating voltage of our uh, kit and here the 12 volts DC input to this one and parallelly that is input to the L298 motor driver that is the power supply of our DC motors right so let us see the demonstration and you can see so there are the previously uh, emails uh, which we got while we are demonstrating of this project Right, so it's a video file. So we can download the video file and uh, the same consists of location also. So the main thing is uh, uh, GPS needs satellite signal. So for, while demonstration we should keep the kit under the sky view. Then only the GPS will get the satellite uh, signal so that it can provide us the live locations directly while in the mail. Right, so we have downloaded this video and uh, we can see this. So while we are testing the project, so we got this video. So it will be recorded around 5 to 10 seconds and uh, the duration of the link will be sent to the email. So let us see the demonstration. Right, so before demonstration, uh, first step is as we discussed, keep the battery under full charge. And next step is on the hotspot. Bef uh, by using your mobile phone hotspot only, the system will send the emails. So configure the hotspot name to project 7115 and password should be 12345678. And the next AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz. After enabling the hotspots along with data, now we can on the cage. Right, so this means on off switch. So it will take around the 20 to 20 to 30 seconds of duration to be logged into the operating system which we have loaded inside the memory card or which is the hard disk of our Raspberry Pi. And after login successfully, the system will provide us the audible alert through the buzzer, which is indication of the system is monitoring. Which, let us see that on the floor. Right, so it should discuss now with the sound. Right. Now 
the system is sending uh, recording the video initially after 5 seconds of duration the system will send that particular video link to the registered email id by making use of our mobile phone hotspot along data and uh, once the mail successfully sent again the buzzer will be on and off two times that is indication of now the system is monitoring so once we receive the buzzer two times then only we can provide the sound input so while demonstration uh, keep the noise free as we said the these microphones are very uh, sensitive for uh, easy demonstration purpose now, now we can check the email so for demonstration purpose we kept for uh, normal uh, less time duration of the mo vehicle moment now let us see on the email right okay so we have received this email So this is the video previously we have received. Again, after mail got sent successfully, it will provide as the buzzer alert. Right. Right. So we heard that. Now we need to uh, check the Gmail. Right, so this is the last video which you have received. So let us see demonstration uh, along with our uh, GPS location also. As we are uh, demonstrating this project under the roof, means there is no sky vision for the GPS. That's why we are getting the zero zero. Now no, let us see with the sky vision. Right, so once we place the kit under the sky view, there we can see the light indication on the GPS, which will show the uh, satellite visibility, means signal availability to the GPS. Now we can provide the input after we get the signal of the GPS. Right. So once we get the proper location, as we confirmed, the LED blinking should be there on the GPS module. And Right, so we got the mail along with the video link. So now instead of 00, zero it will show you the direct light load values. When we click on that, it will directly uh, direct us to the live location. Right, okay, so the location. Thank you.